Hey everyone, this is Dylan here, and today I'm going to go over the MultiToF. So the MultiToF is an identification system we have in the microlab that allows for rapid identification of bacterial and fungal isolates. So this is a picture of it here. And it's very cost effective and rapid, as I said, it takes about a minute per isolate. And it's easy to set up. It's just you have your bacterial colony and you just take one colony, make sure it's a pure plate, and then you spot it on the slide. And then on the slide, you're gonna to have to run a control of E. coli for every 16 uh, samples. That's the acquisition size, 16 samples per run. And then normally it's the ID uh, method of choice in mi micro labs, depending on the scale of your institution. Um, you know, it compares very well with biochemicals just because it's so rapid and accurate and cost-effective while biochemicals can be obviously very manual and interpretive, uh, you know, whether that's API strips or just doing like an indole test for E. coli. Uh, and it compares well with like Vitek ID cards which take more time and the database wouldn't be as good on that compared to the database on the Molitoff. And then in terms of the procedure, I went over that a little bit. So yeah, just make sure your colony's pure and you're just gonna take one colony's worth of your isolate and then you're gonna spot it on the slide. And then you don't, don't allow it to dry, just right away afterwards, you're gonna put one microliter of your matrix and then you allow that to dry and crystallize and then you can pop that on the machine. And as I said, it can run fungal isolates as well. So for example, with yeast, it's a very similar procedure. It's just before you add the matrix, you're going to add 0.5 microliters of formic acid, and then you add your matrix. And then in terms of reporting, it's generally going to give a good analysis. It's comparing the protein size of your sample with that of the database, so the protein profile, uh, that spectra is compared, and the database is generally kept up to date. Uh, it's quite extensive and generally gives you a good genus and species identification. Uh, you could get multiple organisms matched because maybe they're closely related. Uh, or if you get no identification at all, it could be due to the age of the sample or the sample preparation, uh, something like that. The samples need to be 18 to 72 hours old uh, um, after streaking. And then other issues to know, as I said, yeah, make sure your colony is pure. You don't have a mixed plate. Um, that's very important, obviously, for any identification system. And then specifically for mucoid colonies, uh, so like a really mucoid Klebsiella, you'll want to take off the kind of top of the colony, uh, dis discard that, and then you'll do the identification kind of from the base of the colony on the plates, and that'll give a better identification for those really mucoid colonies. And as I said, reference before, you can do fungal samples on this, uh, but the preparation for yeast is very easy, as I referenced just the formic acid. Uh, but if you want to do molds or acid fast uh, bacilli AFB, it's much more, well for the AFB it's a much more extensive uh, preparation. You can't just uh, spot it on the slide. So there's a lot more uh, to identifying those uh, microorganisms on the Molitoff. But for bacteria and yeast, it's very rapid, very easy setup. So yeah, hope you know more about the Molitoff now and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.